टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस मीन सर्कुलेटरी फीलिंग प्रेशर एंड मीन सिस्टेमिक फीलिंग प्रेशर एंड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द सर्कुलेटरी एंड द सिस्टेमिक फीलिंग प्रेशर सो वट इज बेसिकली द मीन सर्कुलेटरी फीलिंग प्रेशर मीन सर्कुलेटरी फीलिंग प्रेशर इज द प्रेशर इन द ब्लड वेसल्स और द फीलिंग प्रेशर विच ड्राइव द ब्लड टूवर्ड्स द हार्ट एंड इट इज मजर्ड इट इज मजर्ड when the heart the pumping of the heart is stopped when the pumping of the heart is stopped heart is no more pumping blood and the blood flow after stopping the blood after stopping the pumping of the heart the blood flow in the vessels it it stops after a few seconds when the when the heart is not pumping the blood and once the blood flow in the vessels has stopped then the pressure the pressure in the blood vessels on the arterial side and on the venous side becomes equal and when it happens that point that pressure that pressure the pressure the point at which the the pressure in the arterial side and the venous side becomes equal that point that pressure is known as the mean circulatory filling pressure and the mean circulatory filling pressure can be measured at any level at any point of circulatory system it can be it can be calculated or measured in the systemic vessels as well as in the pulmonary vessels so when the heart pumping is stopped by any means and after pump after stopping the heart pumping the the flow of blood in the vessel stops the pressure in the arterial and venous sides equalize the, the pressure becomes equally distributed there is equal pressure on the arterial and venous side and that that specific point that specific pressure level at which the pressure in, in both the sides become equal that is known as the mean circulatory filling pressure and that pressure that pressure can be measured in at any point of circulatory system at any point maybe the systemic or the pulmonary now the mean systemic filling pressure the mean systemic filling pressure is just the same or it is just like the mean circulatory filling pressure but the circulate the circulation to the lungs the circulation to the lungs is blocked the main vessels the big vessels which are taking blood and uh, towards the lung and then taking it back from the lungs to the heart they are blocked and the heart pumping is stopped the heart pumping is stopped and the flow of blood in the vessels is stopped and it ceases the blood ceases to move in the blood vessels then pressure on the arterial side and the venous side be equalize or become equal pressure on the arterial and venous side become equal and that point that pressure level at which the pressure on the arterial and venous side become equal at that pressure point at that specific level is known as the mean systemic filling pressure but it is systemic so it measure it must be measured in the systemic vessels it must be measured in the systemic vessels because the 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 flow to the pulmonary vessels or the lungs has been blocked measurement of the mean circulatory and mean filling pressures is almost impossible in the living human beings these these values have been measured by the in different experiments uh, on uh, uh, different animals especially dogs but they are almost impossible to be uh, to measure in the living human beings some uh, conditions in which fibrillation occurs or the there is pacemaker in which the the heart pumping can be stopped they can provide conditions to measure these values but uh, normally they are impossible to be measured in living human beings to summarize the mean circulatory filling pressure is the pressure in the blood vessels when the heart pumping is stopped and the blood flow ceases the the blood stops to move in the vessels and the pressure on the arterial and venous side 
equalize or become equal and that point pressure measured at any anywhere in the circulation either systemic or pulmonary is known as the mean circulatory filling pressure and if the heart pumping the pumping of the heart is stopped and the circulation to the lungs is also stopped the 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 large vessels the pulmonary vessels they are taking the blood and taking the blood back back from the lungs are blocked then when the blood flow stops in the systemic vessels at that very point at that very point when the blood stops and the pressure equalizes in the arterial and the venous side of the systemic vessels that is known as the mean systemic filling pressure and it must it must be measured at any point in the systemic vessels not in the pulmonary vessels the mean circulatory filling pressure can be measured at any point in the systemic or pulmonary vessels but the syst- the mean systemic filling pressure must be measured in the systemic vessels only because the flow of the lungs to to the lungs has been blocked now the normal value of the mean systemic filling pressure or the mean the mean circulatory filling pressure is around 6 to 7 mm of mercury the 6 to 7 mm of mercury is normal means is circulatory or mean systemic the 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 mean systemic is not much different from mean circulatory because even if we block the circulation to the lungs still it won't affect this number very much because the amount of blood going to the lungs is very much small as compared to the amount of blood going to the whole system similarly the compliance now the the circul the mean circulatory filling pressure and mean systemic filling pressure is basically determined by stress volume by compliance now there are two types of blood volumes in the blood vessels some uh, the initial initially some blood is basically required to fill the vessels initially there is filling of the blood vessels and then when ini- when more blood is added into the system that more or extra blood will exert some pressure on the walls of the vessels and will will make some stress or will apply or will create some stress that stress will basically uh, help the blood to move toward the heart in the normal human being around 1 by around 1/3 of the blood is stressed volume around 1/3 of the blood is stressed it means that around 2/3 around 2/3 is basically not not stressed basically the stressed and uh, unstressed blood means that the the unstressed blood basically just fills the bl- uh, the blood vessels or the veins and just like uh, we put some water in a bag and that bag get filled with water but it cannot apply any pressure then when we add some extra water into the bag only then the pressure may rise inside the bag similarly these vessels act uh, like reservoirs and act acts like bags so initially the two third of blood is used to fill these vessels the two third of blood is basically used to or it basically helps in filling the vessels then the additional one third of blood in the normal human being it creates some stress and it starts pushing the blood vessel it start creating stress in the vessels and that one third of the normal uh, blood is considered as stressed volume of the blood vessel then compliance is the ability of the blood vessels to accommodate extra volume compliance is the ability of the blood vessels to accommodate more volume now mean circulatory filling pressure and mean systemic filling pressure both can be cal- calculated with the help of stressed volume by compliance of the vessels so to summarize the mean circulatory filling pressure is the pressured measured in the blood vessels when the heart pumping has been stopped and the blood s- stops to move in the vessel and pressure on the arterial and venous side becomes uh, equalized or become equal 
and at that point pressure measured at any level of the circulation systemic or pulmonary is known as the mean circulatory filling pressure and when the blood flow to the pulmonary vessels or the lungs has been stopped and then the heart pumping is stopped and blood ceases to move in the vessels and the pressure in the arterial and venous side equalize then when the pressure is measured in the systemic vessels it is known as the mean systemic filling pressure and both of these both of these uh, basically can be measured by the stressed volume by compliance and their value is around 6 to 7 mm of mercury that's all about mean circulatory filling pressure and mean systemic filling pressure